guys. So next day, it is a Wednesday, and it is 9.14 in the morning. I am headed to Walmart really quick before I go to the AA meeting as a student because I need to get some flats. I have some, but they're just like, I don't know, they're just uncomfortable. So I just need to run and get a cheap pair of flats just for when I have to dress nice, nice-ish, I guess. Um, yeah, nothing too fancy. Just a pair of black Walmart flats. That's all I'm looking for, honestly. But yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm not seeing what I was looking Oh, you know what? Literally just something like this is all I'm trying to get, to be completely honest. might work. I think these are actually really cute, but... These are cute. I like these. But I don't like the pointy, because I feel like that would like kill my toes. Honestly, I feel like Walmart has some really cute shoes. Surprise! I'm going to the gym again. Uh, today is... I don't know if I recorded anything today yet, but today's Wednesday the 4th. Earlier I went to an AA meeting to observe as a student, and... I came home. I did... Hold up. This crap. Because apparently we have a med calculation quiz tomorrow, but we're not allowed to use calculators. So I had to remember how to divide because I haven't divided. I have not divided in like five years. Well, that's a lie. No, yeah, probably five years, honestly, without like I have had a calculator. Like like normal people, people have calculators. For some reason, we can't use a calculator. I have no idea why, but it is what it is. So I had to remember how to divide and it was really hard. Um, and also it makes you really uns unsure of yourself. Like I literally will divide one, one divided by one on the calculator just to make sure. I'm not even kidding with you. I do it. I've divide, I put every single calculation into the calculator just so I know. But anyway, I just tried printing out my school because I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I'm pretty much like a paperless student. I do everything on my iPad here. Um, but for some reason, this OB clinical wants us to print like absolutely everything out, which is fine. But um, just printing on my library is so annoying. So you can either upload money onto a an account and you have to use, you have to upload $5, which okay, $5, whatever. My problem is I don't anticipate printing $5 worth of paper because it's like, I think eight cents a sheet of paper. So what is that, like over 500 pieces of paper? I don't know if that's right. <laughs> that's why I need a calculator. <laughs> but um, I'm not gonna be printing that much. Like I just know I'm not. So uh, I didn't wanna upload $5 worth of credit to the printer. So I was gonna pay with pennies. Like all I had to do was pay 16 pennies and for some reason it wouldn't work and then the librarian had no idea what she was doing and the printer wasn't printing and just all this mess. Anyway, I'm going to the gym now. I feel like I should just name these vlogs going to the gym with me because that's all I've been doing lately. <laughs> and I forget to record doing anything else. Slash it feels awkward recording in front of other people. So I've been avoiding it but I gotta get used to it because I really want to like make this channel like about nursing but the gym is literally like 30 seconds away from me so I'm just gonna drive over there right now but oh look at that air life this is my pre-workout
so crazy. I just watched the helicopter land on top of the building. That's the second time I've seen that. And both times I've been recording. to one of those meetings, I do not want to hit this Mercedes next to me. Oof. Okay, I'm parking in between a Mercedes and a BMW, thanks. That's great. And Okay, but to be honest, this Mercedes does not know how to park. They are crooked as heck. That's why I almost hit them. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of stigma around like alcoholism, and you really learn a lot about how it comes to be, I guess. But I don't know, I just thought it was a really eye-opening experience. I was reluctant to go, I'm just, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't really wanna go because I just, I felt weird going. But yeah, no, it was really good. So I recommend, if you get the chance, it's a really nice, like, like I said, it's a really eye-opening experience. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm at the gym now, so I'm going to see you later. Also, a side note, um, <laughs> does anyone else have Retin-A for their skin? Because I do, and it burns so bad. Like, my face is burning and peeling, which is expected. That's supposed to happen, but... Okie dokie, so <clears throat> I got a blender bottle, yeah, just typical blender bottle, and currently this is the pre-workout I'm using. I love this stuff, honestly, like, it's sad, but I found that I actually can't work out without it, like, I ran out of it, oops, I ran out of it and I tried to do a workout, 
and I just like I just couldn't I was so I didn't have any energy I was so tired and before I discovered pre-workout I honestly like I dreaded working out the only way I could work out was like this sounds like don't roast me but like dance videos on YouTube <laughs> like the fitness mart the fitness marshal I love him but like that's the only way I could motivate myself to work out but now that there's pre-workout I can I'm always motivated only thing that sucks about this is like I guess it's like a bunch of caffeine hold up is I guess it's like a bunch of caffeine so if you take it like me at nine o'clock at night you're gonna not be able to sleep so that's one issue I'm just trying to open this all right that's one issue i do run into with pre-workout is i am a nighttime gym goer and <sighs> the pre-workout situation like i'm tr i'm working on it i'm working on going earlier but even today like what happened to me i got home at like three which is really early for me on a tuesday and um I was gonna go to the gym like right after but I fell asleep and that always happens to me I always get home and take a nap so um yeah but anyway I'm working on it so yeah okay but I just wanted to show you how I mix this so my boyfriend Kyle says that the labeling on this I don't know if that's in focus honestly I have no idea but basically for like anytime energy two scoops intense training two scoops and recovery two scoops he said for intense training it's supposed to be four scoops um but that they mislabeled it on the bottle so technically if i was gonna do like go hard at the gym i would do four but i'm only gonna do three because um well, honestly, I could probably get away with two, but I'm just going to do, actually, yeah, I'm going to do, like, two big scoops. Because I do want to fall asleep at some point tonight. But, if you don't already know about pre-workout, then, I mean, if you do already know about pre-workout, then I'm probably boring you to death, and I'm sorry. However, ooh, however, I have found that... Pre-workout makes me, one, burn so many more calories than I would without it. And if you're trying to lose weight like me, burning calories is good. Also, it makes me not want to leave the gym, which is really strange because like I said earlier, I used to hate the gym. And then after taking pre-workout for some reason, like, I don't know if it's like the placebo effect where I'm like, pretending I like being at the gym because I spent money on a pre-workout and like I'm pretending that the pre-workout makes me want to work out I don't know but literally like I will spend an hour and a half to two hours at the gym and be perfectly happy with it I'm not gonna do that today but I'm not I have done it in the past so anyway so this is just the pink star blast pink star blast it tastes like pink starburst like liquid pink starburst it's really good um Another flavor I recommend if you plan on getting this, Evolution Evolution Nutrition. I found this through my boyfriend. Um, I did not do my own research on it, so, but he said it's the best one. So I'm just gonna go with it and say it's the best one too. And um, so then I just put, I just fill it up with water. And so, there's a bunch of different ways you can take this. You can literally just take pre-workout. Like, you can take the scoop, put the scoop in your mouth, and then take, like, a shot of water with it. But my stomach is not strong enough for that. And I also can't chug it. You're supposed to, like, take pre-workout really quickly. I can't do that either, or I will, like, literally throw up. So I just have to fill it up, like... I usually fill it up to the top because the flavor, like I said, is really, 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 really strong. And if you don't have enough water, it tastes like medicine. <laughs> so, well, some of them do. The blue one, I think, is really good. The pink one's okay, too. The purple one tastes like cough medicine to me. But anyway, I'm just trying to close it. All right, so yeah, you just shake it up and you drink it. So I'm just going to do that. And yeah, 
So let's go out to the gym. <laughs> 